it's Melissa here with Keeping It Keto Lazy Style. So today is Halloween. So happy Halloween. I know y'all won't be seeing this on actual Halloween, but just know I wished you one if you're into that kind of thing. If not, happy Thursday. It's Thursday. So for this Halloween occasion, I decided I want to try to make my own gummy bears. Gummy bears are my favorite candy. So for my birthday, if you follow me on Instagram, you know it was my birthday this past Tuesday the 29th and my sister gave me something I really wanted which is these gummy bear molds. Yay! If you want these, I had them on my wish list from Amazon. They're so affordable like seven dollars and some change and they're prime so free shipping if you have that. So I'm gonna make two different kinds, and I've never done this before since I just got these, so this is gonna be a little experiment, but I'm sure it's going to be good. I'm gonna be making one with fruit tea and another one with a box of Jello, just to see which one I like better. So stay tuned and let's get started. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with the fruit tea one. And what I used is the Tazo Passion Tea. Oh, let's see if I can get this. Oh no. Okay, that's a fail. One just fell out. Ignore that. <laughs> is the Tazo Passion Tea. It's actually the same one that Starbucks uses for their passion fruit tea. Um, so it is really delicious. And I have one cup of water that I got to a rolling boil and then I put in two tea bags because it said that it is best when it's really strong. So I just did two of those and they've been steeping for about 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna take out the tea bags. Let's do this, throw them in the trash. I need two tablespoons of gelatin. So I'm gonna open this up. Let's see, I was trying to read on the box to see if it told me how much is in here. Oops, okay, so one pack is about one tablespoon. So I'll get two packs. And then, sweetener of choice. I'm gonna do Swerve. It says, let's see. Here we go, one tablespoon of sweetener. And then I'm gonna use these stevia drops just for a little extra. Three, four, five. Five drops. Now let's stir. So you wanna stir until it is all incorporated and it is still pretty hot, so just be cautious with that. Okay, we're getting there. It's getting nice and thick. Okay, I have stirred it. It is all incorporated. There's no more chunks of the gelatin. So, next step is giving it a taste. So, let's give this a little taste. Hmm, I'm gonna say it needs a little bit more sweetener. It's not even that sweet. So I'm gonna add about a half a tablespoon of the swerve. I'm just dumping it in there. I'm gonna stir it together and then give it another taste. Okay. Stir it in, let me give it a little taste. Better, okay, that's doable. So let's start molding these. So I'm gonna get a dropper. I'm gonna start off with the blue ones. So, and I did wash these just now before I did it. So put this in here, squeeze it, and then suck up some juice. There we go, look at that. And I'm gonna come over here. Ooh. And I'm going to just start filling the molds. So the blue trays are filled and I still have about a half a cup of mix. 
but I also want to do the jello ones so I'm going to just set this to the side for now and see how much I have left now I put these on a little tray so whenever I put them in the fridge it's easy because look these are silicone so imagine carrying a filled silicone tray and it's just gonna spill everywhere so I put it on a little tray that way it's easy to transport to the fridge so now I have a half a cup of water I'm going to boil and then add lime sugar-free jello to it okay the water just came out of the microwave and again I'm using lime sugar-free jello so I have the pack right here and this is, let's see, 0.44 ounces, 12.5 grams. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's right there. That's the size that I'm using. So let's, I guess, pour some in here. I don't know how much. I did like half of it. So let me stir it. Now that it's all, Incorporated. I'm gonna give it a taste because what I read they said like you know the sugar-free jello is already sweetened. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. I should have done more of this than the tea one, but it's okay. Uh, so let me get my other dropper, the clean one, and start filling up the purple side. Oh. Okay. Wonderful. Careful with that. It does squirt out, I guess. So, for future reference, a half a cup is perfect for two. So, I'm gonna have to do something with this one. Maybe I'll pour it into my ice cube trays and have like little ice cube shaped ones, uh, but I'll see. So now, these go into the fridge for about 30 minutes until they gel up. Now, what I'm a little confused about is the green ones. I know it has gelatin in there, but how is it not gonna be little gummy bear jellos? You know what I mean? Oop, this one needs some. Like, is it gonna be wiggly like jello or cause we only used a little bit? I don't know. But either way, if I have to have a bowl full of gummy bear shaped jello, I'll still eat it, not a problem. So, in to the fridge, these little guys go. 30 minutes has passed, and they seem hard. Ooh, I'm so nervous. And these, hey, they feel pretty good too. So let's see what we have to work with just a little rubber band bowl I'm going to put these in that way I can stick them back in the fridge and store them in the fridge so uh, I guess I'm just really stalling because I'm so nervous so let me take you down Hopefully y'all can see so these are the fruit tea ones so the passion tea so okay so far so good let's <gasps> working look I did it a cute little bear they're so tiny okay success so I'm gonna just dump these over and then just start popping all of them out oh this one's stuck a little bit that's okay they're not perfect I want Jared to make sure he knows these are homemade <laughs> And I don't think there's a way you can't tell because they're a little, you know, different. So let's just keep doing this. Okay guys, I'm still struggling. I'm on the second one, but this is a real pain in the butt. They are sticking, they are breaking. I don't know if they need to set up some more. Is 30 minutes not enough time? Is it just because of the way the silicones are? I really don't know, but this is going to be torture to clean up. Look at it, a headless bear. 
don't know if you can see that, but it's headless. It is definitely headless. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep trying. If they break, I'm just gonna leave them in there because it is just, I think this is gonna be my Pinterest fail for sure. But there's still hope for the Jello one. Ooh, look, this one came out perfect. Let's see, I hope it's, that one came out perfect, yay. So you give up, say you're gonna give up, and then they start coming out. All of these are coming out good now. Oh, not that one. So this is what we got with the Passion T ones. Uh, luckily it's Halloween, so I could totally play off the headless bears and all that. They basically are like jello. They're not hard like a gummy bear. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking like me, it's gonna be like a traditional gummy bear. It's more just like jiggly jello, but that's okay. Let's look at these. These are the lime ones. Please, ooh, okay. That one came out pretty good. Let's hope the rest are like that. Nope. You know what? I'm going to let these set for a little bit longer because they're not wanting to come out either. So let's wait about another 20 minutes to do these. So while those are waiting for another 20 minutes, let's try what I was able to get out. So I have the passion fruit one right here. Mm-mm, mm-mm, ugh, hate it. I'm just being honest, it's not good. Ugh, it has such a fake taste to it. I'd add so much sweetener. Ugh, mm-mm, and please let these little green ones be better. This is a total fail. Okay, those are good. Tastes like Jello, and they're a little more jiggly. Look, ding, 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 ding. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The green ones are a little bit better, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna stick to the gummy bears, the sugar-free gummy bears I get at the store, and eat them in moderation, because you know they have that sweetener that's not really good for you and it really disrupts the belly if you know what i'm saying and you know what i'm willing to deal with that to never have to try these again so ugh, i'll let y'all know if the extra 20 minutes worked or not but for now i'm just ending this video here because this was a pinterest fail so Keep in mind that this was just an experiment. Try it at your own risk. Let me know any tips or tricks that you know and how I could have done better because I'm always willing to give it another shot. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all next time.